Ahlan wa sahlan. Uh, welcome to the Arabic department of the University of Sydney. We are very excited to be uh, talking to you today and to introduce you to uh, our passion, which is Arabic languages and cultures. Today, before we start, I would like to um, acknowledge uh, the traditions of uh, the custodianship and, uh, uh, and the law of the country on which the University of Sydney campuses stand. We pay our respects to those who have cared and continue to care for our country. Um, today with you, there is uh, Dr. Ali al who will be talking to you very soon. It's uh, me next, Nisreen Bashir, and then uh, hopefully very soon, uh, Jinan would be joining us um, if she's able to make it to the meeting. Now, uh, I'm going to talk to you briefly about um, Arabic and languages, uh, Arabic at the University of Sydney. Um, it can be um, a very rich experience. It will be a very rich experience if you learn a language uh, either as a major or um, in addition to uh, the major that you choose to um, enroll in. There are different pathways to study Arabic with us. This includes if you're an absolute beginner, it means you have no idea what Arabic is you are welcome to join us. That will be an uh, introductory uh, pathway and uh, that will take you gradually until you are an advanced student. If you have some background in Arabic, so if you've done, for example, HSC beginners, you can join the intermediate pathway. And then if you have continuers or extension in HSC, you can uh, join straight from the advanced pathway. Um, having said all this, if you have um, none of these, or if you're not sure that you, your level of Arabic um, matches any of the pathways, you don't have to fit into any of these previous experience profiles. Feel free to contact us, arrange for a placement test. We'll have a chat with you and place you in the right um, level. And next, let me tell you about the different formats um, in which you can study Arabic with us. You could choose to do Arabic as a major, which means you continue eight semesters with us. A combination of language and culture units and the difference between the two would be explained to you by Dr. Ali. You will be doing one semester of interdisciplinary uh, project, which means you apply the linguistic and the cultural aspects of Arabic in a context where you collaborate with other disciplines. So an example would be, can I use Arabic to um, investigate the relationship between language, culture, culture and the hospital setting. And then there's also the in-country study, which we strongly encourage. I will talk to you later about the opportunities that we already uh, we have in place. You could do Arabic as a minor, so which would be fewer units, obviously. You can do six semester uh, of language and culture study, and then in-country study can be an option uh, for you. You could also do Arabic as an elective. So let's say you're doing um, a full, um, like a degree that doesn't have um, enough space for you to do a major or minor. You could opt to do Arabic as an elective unit. Again, if your level is an absolute beginner, you can start from Arabic equivalent to 101 from the alphabet. If you have some background, again, get in touch with us and then we'll place you in the right um, unit. The, uh, there is also an opportunity to do something called OLE, which is an Open Learning Environment Unit. We have one unit where the first iteration was this last year and students had a lot of fun. So they spent three years in Amman, Jordan, where the focus was cultural experience, but they also learned some um, basic knowledge about the language itself. They um, visited um, a UN refugee camp. They learned about the, um, the art scene in Amman, the underground, the graffiti, and their end of semester presentations told us that they really had a great time um, in Amman. Um, one more thing, you could actually do the same thing as a major, but as a um, diploma of languages. So again, this is a very good opportunity for those of you who do not have um, space to do a major. You can do the exact content of a major, but graduate with um, a diploma of languages. Um, if one of you have, um, has any background in Arabic, if you come from an Arabic speaking background and uh, you speak a dialect, so maybe you speak Lebanese, Iraqi or Egyptian Arabic, you're welcome to join us because as uh, Dr. Ali will explain to you, 
we focus on both the standard Arabic and the dialect as well. So Arabic department is always a home for you as, um, as your background country has been. So I'll move now to um, uh, Dr. Ali of Daesh, if you could uh, tell us more about the Arabic language and culture units. Thank you. Thank you, Nisreen. My name is Ali Yunus Adahesh. I'm a lecturer in Arabic language, literature, and culture. I usually teach intermediate and advanced Arabic and so supervise uh, postgraduate students in linguistic and translation. Uh, as Nisreen said, students will follow the appropriate pathway based on their individual level. Uh, our department offers two kinds of units language units and culture units. The major or minor in Arabic is a combination of both language units and culture units. Uh, we have three pathways, introductory, intermediate and advanced. As far as the Arabic language uh, units are concerned, we offer in the first year introductory Arabic 1A and 1B. Uh, these units are designed for students with little or no prior, uh, prior knowledge of Arabic uh, to teach them how to communicate in both uh, formal Arabic and colloquial. We teach uh, modern standard Arabic and two dialects, Egyptian and uh, uh, Levantine. I mean, uh, Syrian or, uh, or Lebanese dialects. Um, these two units are built or designed to build the students' communicative skills in formal and colloquial Arabic through listening, speaking, reading, and writing activities in and outside of class. In the intermediate level, we offer uh, intermediate Arabic 2A and intermediate Arabic 2B. These units are uh, designed to build the student's communicative ability in formal and spoken Arabic. Students will move from simple phrases to connect sentences to communicate about familiar topics. They will continue to develop reading and listening strategies with the aim of becoming an uh, autonomous learner. And in, in, in the advanced level, we offer advanced Arabic 3A and advanced Arabic 3B. These units are designed to expand the student's communication skills in formal and spoken Arabic. And the students will move from connected sentences towards coherent paragraphs to provide uh, descriptions and narr narrations. As far as the cultural unit of studies, we offer uh, screening the Arabic word, uh, which focuses on the history of cinema in the Arab world and North Africa History, Culture, Society, which focuses on uh, the political, cultural, and uh, social history of Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, and Libya. The other unit is uh, Muslim Women and Veiling, which examines the history of Muslim veiling, the religious discourse, and uh, historical, political, regional and cultural variations in veiling practices. The other culture unit is gender and politics in the Arab world, which focuses on the interplay between gender, culture, and politics in the Arab world. We have Palestine, Israel, and the Middle East. This unit provides the historical background in the region of the Middle East and its conflicts. And we have modern Egypt, history, culture, and society, 
which focuses on Egyptian cultural and political history. We offer some other uh, in-country and OLE units, Dr. Nasreen Bashir, our Department Exchange Program Coordinator, will talk about, to you about these units. Thank you so much, Ali. So um, as Dr. Ali mentioned, uh, we also, in addition to the units that he described now, we also have the exchange program. Uh, we signed an agreement with the American University in Beirut, and we had the first group of students uh, going there last um, year. Yeah, so it was January to uh, June in 2019. Um, then the next iteration, we're not sure yet because of the current circumstances, but the agreement is still there and students would be able to, to go as, as, as soon as it gets safe uh, to travel. Same thing, if you're a student at Sydney Uni and you're doing um, Arabic on exchange, let's say you're going to France, um, if the, the university you're studying at offers Arabic, you are more than welcome to uh, take Arabic units there. You coordinate with us and then we approve uh, the unit if they are equivalent to what we're doing here. So this is about the exchange. It's, uh, it's a very rich experience for students to travel and we always encourage it. Um, so please think about it uh, and plan ahead before you, uh, once you decide on the major, just plan when you'll be able to go on exchange and ask us for help. We will choose the right program uh, with you. So we have one question here, if we offer online courses. Um, during that COVID-19 crisis, we offered our units fully online, but in general, during the regular semesters, we don't. Uh, we have found from experience that face-to-face -face interaction um, is the most conducive to learning, and this is also based on our student feedback, which we take seriously. So we never, mid-semester and end of semester, when we ask them their opinion, they said that they usually say coming to class and forming friendships in a social setting is one thing we, um, we appreciate about the Arabic classroom, especially that it's usually, not usually, always a smaller class size. So they get to work in groups and in pairs and they form friendships. Um, so we do believe that the on-campus experience, whenever, of course, safe is safe and possible, is the ideal because uh, university education is not only about the content, it's about the interaction and the social and cultural um, aspect of the, um, the experience itself. Um, I'm going to be keeping an eye on the questions, so please keep them coming. Um, I will share with you now, I was talking about the beginners, um, and this is the, a sample of student production at the end of semester two. So in semester one, they completed 52 hours of beginner Arabic. In semester two, they completed another 52 hours. So it's really over 100 hours of face-to-face, -face, uh, which as you may have guessed is, um, is not the same as 100 hours of French because um, Arabic is, uh, is richer or more complex uh, than uh, Romance language, for example. So you will see now their production. The, they were able to talk about, um, in this unit, they learned about the weather, family, uh, food, and at the end of semester, they were asked as part of the assessment to prepare a skit together in pairs, and this is an example uh, of their end of semester production. <laughs> Look on, look on, look on. But 
شايف بنت اي بنت ما شايف زلمه ابن عمك باش هير بيشتغل بالامم آه المتحده مراي ايه بدي اقول شغله ثانيه ايه اول شيء ايه هالزلمه هونيك ايه هي مراه <تصفيق> كيف مراه؟ ما بعرف ثاني شيء ايه هي بنت ابن جورج عرفتي اخت ليلى؟ اه مش هيدي ايه اسمها ماري وعمرها شي 50 سنه بتروح لا 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 انت عم تفكري عن لا انت عم تفكري عن شيء بنت ثانيه مره غير يعني؟ ايه لا هي اسمها كاساندرا شو كسرت؟ ما كسرنا شيء كاساندرا كاساندرا ما بعرف كل اسامي الجديد كنت بنصور لا هي هلا بالجامعه عم تدرس اللغه العربيه اه تتذكر نحن كنا ندرس نفس الشيء ايه والله ايه تذكر كل الواجب عنا اياه واحد سكي عملنا اياه وقع راسي كثير كثير شو اسمها؟ ال المعلم شو المعلم المعلم شو اسمها؟ شو اسمها؟ شو اسمها؟ لا لا نس نس لا مش نس لي نس لي نس كافي لا Okay, well, I can't tell you how uh, proud I am. I was very, very proud of their presentations and uh, of their efforts. And uh, this is something that we do at the end of each semester. There will be some sort of presentation. Uh, as you can see, they were having fun, and then the students, the classmates, were having fun as well. Um, and it's um, usually one of the yeah last day of classes. It will be the skit that you just saw, and then there will be maybe if we have time, some food. We share and we we'll play. Uh, we we'll play uh, some music. So let me see if we have any more um, question. So the final slide that we have now, this is, uh, if you have um, any questions or you would like to learn more, this is the website that you can go to or email us at languages.admin at sydney.edu.au. You can always very easily find the uh, Arabic department. Um, just a quick Google search, you will find us and the email addresses of myself, Dr. Ali, and the chair of the department, Dr. Ali Chiesubera, are there. You can just, uh, um, chat with us. You're welcome to also schedule a meeting if you want to zoom in and ask uh, questions um, face to face but virtually. Uh, you're always welcome to do that. Uh, thank you so much for attending and uh, hopefully we'll see you very soon in our classes. Thank you.